In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around the table of the Lord as one family on the solemnity of Pentecost. The day we remember the descent of the Holy Spirit among the apostles. We beg for the grace that we may truly embrace the gift of understanding that the Holy Spirit gives us. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries.
cross to intercede for us. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. pray. 
O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the, and with the divine grace that was at work, when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven, staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement, they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. 
I will be glad in the Lord. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home, Shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor. Come, source of all our store. Come, within our bosom shine. You of comforters the best. You the soul's most welcome guest. Sweet refreshment here below. In our labor, rest most sweet. Grateful coolness in the heat solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours and our inmost being fill. Where you are not, we have not. Nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint or ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew. On our dryness, pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore. In your sevenfold gift descent, give them virtue's sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle them in the fire of your love.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We usually call this day as Pentecost Sunday. And it literally means 50 days. So in the Christian calendar, this is the 50th day after Easter Sunday. But we do not just count 50 days after Easter Sunday. We remember this day as the day where the Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles as described in our first reading. And for us Catholics, we consider this day as the birthday of the Catholic Church. But besides these things, the Holy Spirit is an active agent in our faith life. Madalas kasi ang focus natin si Jesus. And there is nothing wrong with that. But we must also remember that in every aspect of our Christian life, the Holy Spirit strengthens us through different gifts that He gives us, especially through the sacraments that we receive. And for this day, let us focus our reflection on one particular gift, the gift of understanding. In our first reading, we have heard how the disciples were understood in their own native language by the listeners who were outside their place. Siguro kung sa atin, no, kung sa konteksto natin, ako na Tagalog, nagsasalita. At kung ikay Ilocano, maririnig mo ay Ilocano. O kung ikay Bisaya, maririnig mo Bisaya. Kung ikay Bicolano, maririnig mo Bicolano naiintindihan, naririnig yung salita na lumalabas sa kanilang sariling lengguahe. That was how the disciples were understood by their first listeners. But understanding is not simply hearing the words that is being spoken by a particular person. Because the first meaning of understanding is to stand under. Tumatayo tayo sa ilalim o di kaya ay nagpapailalim tayo. Maybe it would be difficult for us to picture something like that. It seems that we would be submitting ourselves to someone who is on top of us. No. Why? Because we just literally put ourselves in that particular situation. To stand under would simply, mean, would simply mean putting ourselves in the shoes of that particular person. Secondly, understanding is always a two-way relationship. Hindi ho pwedeng isang tao o isang partido lang yung umuunawa. Understanding is a two-way street. 
It doesn't mean that only one person should stand under. Hindi pwedeng isa lang yung nagpapailalim dahil kung isa lang yung nagpapailalim, hindi rin mabubuo yung pagkakaunawaan. If another person understands us, but we fail to put ourselves or to understand the other, then we will be disconnected from the reality. We will never be in touch with the reality of the other person. Kaya nga minsan ang reklamo natin, may mga, may mga batas na out of touch sa realidad ng buhay. May mga iniuutos na parabang hindi natin maintindihan, hindi natin maunawaan, dahil hindi konektado sa realidad natin. Hindi nauunawaan o hindi nararanasan. O minsan, kahit sa aming mga pari, no? ang reklamo nila, si Father hindi ko maintindihan. Out of touch. Wala sa realidad. Nakalutang. But let us be reminded that the third glorious mystery says, the descent of the Holy Spirit. That was the action of the Holy Spirit. It simply means that the gift of understanding helps us ground ourselves to the reality of the other person. Hindi nakalutang ang pag-unawa dahil kinokonekta natin yung ating sarili sa sitwasyon ng ating kapwa. Understanding simply means standing under the situation of the other. And understanding will always be a two-way relationship. Halimbawa, kung may lumapit sa atin at humihingi ng tulong at naunawaan naman natin yung sitwasyon niya at naipaabot natin yung tulong na maipaabot natin, naunawaan natin yung sitwasyon nila. Pero minsan, mabigat din na marinig mula sa kanila, ito lang, ito lang yung ibibigay mo, ito lang yung itutulong mo, ito lang yung ipapaabot mo, para bang hindi rin tayo naunawaan sa sitwasyon natin, hindi rin naunawaan kung ano yung pinagdadaanan natin, hindi rin naunawaan kung ano yung pinanggagalingan natin. Understanding connects us to the reality of our brother or sister. And when we understand one another, then we can expect peace in our relationships, harmony in our connections. That was what Jesus showed to his disciples. His first words to them were, Peace be with you. That is the only thing that Jesus offers them. And that is the only thing that Jesus wants them to offer to others. Kaya siguro humailap din sa atin ng kapayapaan dahil kulang pa tayo sa pag-unawa. Yes, understanding may be a gift of the Holy Spirit, but when selfishness gets in the way, we tend to do away with what we understand. Because to stand under would entail a lot of humility. Misunderstanding happens because we insist on what we want. We, on, we insist on what we think is right, but neglecting what, is, would be, what would be beneficial for the other. Misunderstanding happens because we insist on the knowledge that we have gained, yet we do not acknowledge that there are others who are more, who are more knowledgeable than us. Misunderstanding happens because we let pride dictate our actions and we, fail to, and we fail to stand under the situation of others. This Pentecost Sunday, let us recapture that gift that the Holy Spirit has given us. The gift of, the gift of understanding. Huwag lang nating unawain yung narinig nating mga salita unawain din natin yung sitwasyon ng bawat isa. At kapag naunawaan natin ang bawat isa, alam din natin kung anong ikikilos natin 
para mas tumiba yung ugnayan natin bilang isang simbahan. Understanding does not simply allow us to look at the situation of the other, but it harmonizes our relationship as a church. And in that harmony, we will be able to act appropriately as one church established by Jesus. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into heaven. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, heaven and is seated, seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Since God endows us with the gift of his own life by imparting the Holy Spirit, let us come to him with prayers inspired by the Holy Spirit. Let us come to him alive and free in the divine presence. For every intention he will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have been signed and sealed with the Holy Spirit, that this church may be united as one body made of many parts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the peoples of the world who do not know God, that the spirit of the truth proclaimed to every nation may indeed renew the face of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For the outpouring of the spirit of peace, that men and women may know the forgiveness in their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For this community gathered by God, that the Spirit who made holy our Eucharistic gifts may strengthen and refresh us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the souls of the departed, that they may be made perfect in life-giving spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father all-powerful, receive these prayers from a people made one by the Holy Spirit who always dwells within us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Oh, Lord, 
My dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestow the, the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit as the Church came to birth, open to all the peoples the knowledge of God, and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. Oh. 
For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of Pentecost, on which the Holy Spirit appeared to the apostles in tongues of fire, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a, simple, in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. When we leave this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty, from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, the spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as ones you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel, to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar 
receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. So as also your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold Jesus, our risen Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh 
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given us, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that the spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the, above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying lights. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that, in that same faith, and by, believe, in that, and by believing, may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Yeah.